Welcome to the Japanese Great Persons Channel. Today we will talk about the life of Tokugawa Yoshimune, the eighth shogun of the Edo Sogonate. Tokugawa Yoshimune was born in 1684 as the fourth son of Tokugawa Mitsusada, the second lord of the Kishu Domain. The Kishu Domain was one of the three Tokugawa families and was responsible for selecting the successor to the Tokugawa Shogun. At the time, Yoshimune was not a candidate for Shogun. However, due to the unwritten rule that the Awari clan, also one of the three Tokugawa clans, should not compete for the Shogun's position, Yoshimune was later selected as the Shogun. As a child, Tokugawa Yoshimune was an energetic boy, and was rumored to be unruly and rambunctious. In 1705, at the age of 22, he became the lord of the Kishu Domain and worked to reform the domain, which was suffering from financial difficulties. The Kishu Domain's financial difficulties were mainly due to debt and the cost of restoring the Hoi earthquake. Yoshimune upheld a policy of frugality and thrift, and he himself became thrifty and set up a lawsuit box to create an environment in which the will of the people could be heard. This became the prototype for the reference box he would set up when he became shogun. As lord of the Kishu domain, Yoshimune listened to the opinions of those of lower status and worked to rebuild the finances. Later, when the lineage of the Tokugawa Sok ceased due to the premature death of the seventh shogun, Tokugawa Yoshimune was appointed as the eighth shogun. He initiated financial reform of the Sogonate, which was supported by the feudal lords and banamen. One of Yoshimune's most famous reforms was the Kyoho reforms. The Kyoho reforms were a series of policies aimed at restructuring the economy and finances of the Tokugawa Sogonate, and the results of these reforms have had an impact even today. The five main reforms were one introduction of a system of top-ranking rice. In 1722, Tokugawa Yoshimune introduced the Age Mai system in order to enrich the public finances. Under this system, the period of the regular one-year visit to the Sogonate was shortened to six months, and rice was donated to the Sogonate. However, this system had many problems, including the fact that it made the finances of the Sogonate dependent on each clan, so it was abolished in 1730. 2. Implementation of the Fukubai system. Fubetsu refers to the recasting of coins and was carried out with the aim of restoring confidence in the currency and rebuilding the public finances. At the time, the economy was suffering from deflation. The implementation of the currency revaluation triggered the economy to break out of deflation and recover. 3. Adoption of the fixed remuneration method. The fixed remuneration method is a system in which the amount of annual tribute is determined in advance, based on the average of harvests over the past five or ten years. Therefore, a fixed amount of tribute was to be paid for several years, regardless of the harvest, although this method enabled the Sogonate to stabilize its financial resources. It required the payment of the same amount of annual tribute as in previous years, even during periods of bad harvests. Therefore, it is said that measures were taken to reduce or exempt the tribute in times of a bad harvest. For establishment of the Dojima Komakaijo. The Komakaijo was the basic code of the Edo Sogonate. The Dojima Komakaijo established punishments that gave criminals a chance for rehabilitation. Whereas before that time, criminals were sentenced to death or banishment. This made it possible for even criminals to have a chance to rejoin society. 5. Official Recognition of Dojima Rice Hall During the Edo period, the Dojima Rice Exchange, a trading post for rice, was located in Dojima, Osaka. Rice was the main currency in Japan at that time, and about 40% of rice was traded here. Therefore, the Dojima Rice Exchange was officially recognized by the Sogonate and issued rice bills which were rice coupons, to facilitate transactions. The Dojima Rice Exchange functioned as the center of the Japanese economy. From the Edo period to the end of the Edo period, 
The Kyoho reforms brought the Tokugawa shogunate out of financial difficulties and brought economic stability and prosperity. In addition, Tokugawa Yoshimune emphasized the principles of fairness and frugality and showed a willingness to listen to the voices of the common people. For this reason, he came to be regarded as a great man in later generations. His financial reforms marked an important milestone in Japanese history and continue to influence contemporary Japanese society.